do this. And, and you know, as you, you mentioned a couple of the other, you know, two that I was actually going to ask you about what, you know, your, if you'd had any contact with them and, and obviously, yes, you have. Um, so it, can you talk a little bit maybe about how exactly, because Ampled and Resonate both seem like they've kind of floundered and, or, or not been able to, uh, to, uh, to sustain themselves over the, you know, the real, you know, long term. Um, so what do you guys have in mind that's going to be different to try to avoid whatever mistakes it is or whatever, you know, shortcomings you saw in those uh, organizations to, to hopefully have a, a better outcome? Yeah. And I guess I can speak more to Ample than Resonate, although I will say that one thing that both of them had in common that is a, a choice we're, we're making differently is that they kind of led with a lot of work to kind of uh, design a governance model for themselves um, that was very cool, <laughs> right? Very elegant and elaborate and 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 emphasized a, a, a sort of a values alignment towards, um, you know, wanting this to be for musicians and listeners and not for, you know, Warner Music's bean counters, you know? And um, so, so that intention was really foregrounded and really clear. Um, and the experience of uh, that, those of us who connected around Mirlo were all folks who we're, we're feeling like it might take a little bit of a reset to um, kind of create the conditions for that to be, for the system as designed to be closer to the system as found, if that makes sense. Um, and so part of the way that we have been thinking about that redesign has been essentially starting out as a small worker cooperative, essentially. So the three co-founders, although we each come from different backgrounds, I've uh, come from a music and a writing and journalism background. Um, another one, Jody, comes from, uh, you know, activism, mutual aid, um, and other forms of art, cultural organizing, photography, stuff like that. And then Sai um, is a, you know, a software developer who's done a lot of work in open source spaces and was able to kind of put piece together some of the open source uh, code resources from those other projects as well as other things that he's worked on to create something that can you know serve the functionality that we're trying to trying to offer and but rather than then sort of start with a uh, sort of complicated multi-stakeholder format where each of us is representing different classes of users that don't yet really exist, we decided that we we're going to form, you know, start by forming an LLC worker cooperative. We're still actually working on the operating agreement, but the, the idea being that like those of us who are going to come together to get us started, that can be the first sort of small circle that we draw, you know, around of, of what the project is. And also set be really clear that we're setting an intention for as that circle to grow for our capacity to manage the relationships and manage the commons as it grows to to be sustainable, but not just to say like declare like, okay, we figured it out. This is the model and we're all doing it. Because I mean, one thing that I definitely saw at Ampled was just like the amount of work it is to be responsible for something that's big like that you know even 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 ample which you know i think had you know in the low hundreds i think of active users at its at its peak um and i i might be wrong about that but that's, that's that was sort of my sense um was still the you know the folks on the board it was almost everyone like all the artist owners for example it was their first time ever on a board like you know there 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 wasn't really a lot of clarity about what who what the board you know was for and how it was going to meet and you, you just just all the practicalities of actually you know governing a commons or commenting or however you want to frame it right uh, it, it's it's a lot of work and it's a steep learning curve right so we're trying to be be modest in our um, our kind of starting point of not trying to say like okay yeah like we're a we've got this already figured out and everyone's gonna have a say and like da, 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 da. it's like more like okay we're this is the direction we're moving in if we can pull it off awesome but like we're not there yet right because we're just learning so we're just writing an operating agreement we're just learning how to um 
you know, to, to really understand one another in terms of how decisions get made and what does, you know, what does consent mean for these contexts? And um, so it's just a process that takes time because I think ultimately these are relationships that we're tending to and that, and it's also like people on the internet. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so yeah. these yeah. are probably I've met um, I've met Sai and Jody in person now. Um, notoriously <laughs> rational and easy to work with people on right. the internet, right? <laughs> the bandwidth of like human relationship is different when you're doing it yeah. over a screen or over the phone or over you know or over you know chat groups and you know the, the ways that we that we communicate in order to to just make things happen, which there's a real beauty to you know, and I I, I love the way particularly that music can provide a kind of interface for that kind of really human interaction to be possible, you know, over the internet. Um, and, and why, you know, this, this project feels, feels so important to me. And at the same time, there are real challenges of trying to, you know, organize your deep, meaningful human relationships when you don't get to sit in a room with someone and like look them in the eyes and, you know, it's just a different thing, right? So that the systems have to be even more robust, I feel like, in order to be able to to manage that. And um, so yeah. we're trying to stay small as we as but but also, you know, grow, not just stay small and fizzle out, because that's the other thing is that, you know, we can't just run this on volunteer elbow grease ultimate and and, um, y you know, and just sort of right. it has to be financially sustained <laughs> and that's the part yeah that's part that we're learning that we're learning too and also a lesson i think we learned from from some of the other initiatives um and one of the, the I, to me re the real paradoxes of the platform cooperative um model is that we're playing in a space that is almost exclusively um you know, funded by venture capital, you know, so yeah. with running with, servers costs a lot of money. Exactly. Right. It, 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 and, and I mean, relative to relative to some other kinds of uh, initiatives, we could be starting as I guess you could say relatively low capital, but, um, but it's also, yeah, that there's, there's a lot, it, you can't do it without money. You know what I mean? And, and to, to do it kind of above ground in the way that we're trying to do it, where we're, you know, trying to basically create something that money can move through in a, in a legal and above board way, um, that it just takes a lot of figuring out and logistics. Right.